While the pandemic has caused great harm to people and livelihoods, there are some silver linings, like what's going on in War Road, Minnesota, where COVID restrictions have inspired the birth of a new winter attraction. Boyd Hooper takes us there tonight. Kids in War Road don't arrive in the world with their skates already laced, but almost. I was born to skate, my mom said. Anderson Myers' <laughs> birthright. Growing up in Hockey Town, USA. Yep. Till hockey went away. They said that um, we can't go skating. Couldn't skate at the start of hockey season when COVID shut down War Road's arenas. News Hockey Town, USA didn't take. <laughs> standing still. No indoor rinks, no problem. War Road just cut its own path. 21 feet wide, snaking through town on the War Road River, an ice path two and a half miles long. We're in Hockey Town, USA, so go big. As Jared Olofsson tells it, this started with a slew of COVID-inspired outdoor ice rinks. I have a rink in my backyard on the river. My brother has a rink in his backyard on the river. And then the neighbor has a rink. And one day, the neighbor's daughter said, can you connect our rinks? There's no school, there's no hockey, connect the rinks. So we connected the rinks and decided, why even stop, keep going. And after going and going and going, people started coming. 20 years since I've had skates on. We had to get them out and get them sharpened and we're gonna give it a whirl. Okay, try 10 and a half. Yeah. Skate rentals at Docks Harbor Inn. Food stands. Bonfires. It is bringing people together. It's been huge for our community. And all it took was a global pandemic to remind War Run of the winter resource running right under its nose. Fun, 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 fun. We happen to have a place right on the river here all day, nonstop, from the like right away in the morning all the way until the sun is setting. Weekly, volunteers man fire hoses to keep the massive rink smooth. I just said let's do it. While Sam Goulet is among a team of high schoolers that helps tend to the daily brushing. All of which inspired Steve Christensen. 65 was the last year I played. To pull from the basement his high school skates. Pretty awesome. I mean, those things are about twice my age. Well, I used to think that in the Netherlands and where they have canals would be so neat to be able to skate on. And now we have it here. <laughs> here, where kids all but born on skates are witnessing the rebaptizing of Hockey Town USA on a river. Yeah. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News. War Road. <laughs> Though inspired by the pandemic, War Road's ice path is on its way to becoming an annual tradition. In fact, organizers are already making plans to add lights next year and expand the length of the skate path, maybe even to double it. That is fantastic. That's what? just magical, I think. I Fantastic. love it. Fantastic. Only in Minnesota, too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then we, we have oh, the little one, the little one in her little rainbow yep. snowsuit, all the way up to the gentleman whose skates were twice as old as that other <laughs> young gentleman. <laughs> yeah. I bet his feet kind of hurt after that. The skates are a little better now. I love the whole story. It's fantastic. And, you know, I had a chance to see a number of other folks that have been posting that they've just really gone up there to enjoy it, even folks that have driving up to War Road to see what it's all wow. about. So I can imagine that will be a tourist attraction along with the hockey in War Road next winter.